fields and there's hardly anybody who touches it, certainly in Skelmer then, there's hardly anybody who picks brambles these days. But I'll go out off the road and get them. This is a story of a young man making his way in life, written by W.D. Cocker, one of, I'm saying, one of my favourite poets. And uh, making his way in life, there's some Scots words here that I didn't understand until I look, look, look at the glossary. It's, uh, the plough men he loused, their day's dark is hour, and hame comes a hawthorn, as hungry as fowler. Real wabbit is he, but he's young and he's cheery, and yins he has suffered, forgets that he's weary, but yet swings a hint him. He's out again roaming, and walks down the glen, and the quaint with the gloaming. His horns and his pooches, the aimlessly donners, a land where the wee burning windingly wanders, where the round trees grow, and the brackens are few, and the white tail of rabbits half smirked by his view. There, the lilt of a sign that's an end to his rambles. What is this that a young lassie gathered in brambles? <coughs> a stranger bit lass, new out for the tune, that's easy to lose by the cut of her boon. A friend will be cursed his doon by at the brink, and faith but she's bonny, and busket through trig. The hawthorn stones glowing like some muckle stick, and minds at last Sabbath she sat in the kirk, Say blithely she sings, and she kens na he's near, then sudden she sees him, and skelks in fear. The hawthorn is blate, but to quake her alarm, tells her he's serving up by at the farm. He spears gin he'll help her, she doesn't say aye, but she doesn't say no, and he kens that she's shy. Say blithe to the task the broad callan he yokes, and the lassie tacks hurt, and laughs fine at his jokes. He proves down the branches, our heath for our horn, and the basket is through, ere the daylight is gone. Then he wishes that basket as big as a kirt. It's then the bit lass, when a thorn gets a skirt. And to look for the wound that his cough make believe, he tacks a wee loof in his great muckle weave. The stone close together, but nae thorns to be seen, but he still holds her horn, and he keeks in her e'en. Then a queer stool goes through him, he ne'er felt before, and a tenderness creeps to his very heart's core, as a hush in the glen, for the dusk draws a screen. There are stars in the sky, as a star in her heen. Then she raises her moo, and he kens what is bliss, as his lips meet hers in his first lover's kiss. And the Hawthorne's a laddie name here, he's a man, and it's aye been the same since the world first began. Yeah. <laughs>